Dr. Laura Sennett, audiologist and audio engineer with Tuned. Today we're looking at the Clarify wristband, the first commercially available de device that uses your skin to help improve speech understanding. It comes out of Neosensory, which is led by Dr. David Eagleman, a legendary neuroscientist that became famous after dropping a TED Talk in 2015 about using technology to help create new senses. It was totally mind-bending and I remember watching it a few times when it first came out. But before we get into the device itself, we're gonna skim the science behind it so we can better assess whether this device is appropriate for our patients. I remember when I watched this TED Talk and a sort of paradigm shift happened for me in the way that I think about the brain from both a technological and a human perspective. The idea is that as animals, we have peripheral sensors like our cochlea or our eyeballs, and their job is to take information from the external world and translate them to electrical impulses that the brain then picks up. The key part though, is that the brain doesn't care where the electrical impulses and signals come from. Its job is to make meaning from the patterns of the billions of neurons that fire or don't fire based on the peripheral sensors. The TED Talk discussed the idea of creating completely new senses, like the ability to sense what's going to happen to the stock market. But Dr. Eagleman also talked about sensory substitution. The idea is if one of our sensors is injured, perhaps we can exploit one of our other senses, like being able to feel vibrations on our skin in order to help the injured sense. At the time he gave the talk, the, his lab had developed a vest that had microphones and actuators, which are vibrators. The, the microphones picked up the sounds, translated it into vibrotactile patterns. And they demonstrated that people with profound hearing loss were really quickly, like in a matter of days, I think, able to hear um, words when they were wearing the vest. In other words, they were hearing through their skin. And over the years, Neosensory evolved and they essentially shrunk the vest into this wristband. A note that sensory substitution isn't a new idea. It's been around for a long time. Deaf musicians have often talked about their honing of their senses of being able to perceive music through their skin. And if you ever sit on the New York City subway under the speaker, you can definitely feel this for yourself because it's the announcements are so loud. Um, and also there is science dating back many, many decades that we're experimenting with sensory substitution. But this is kind of the first wearable computing device that is commercially available, which is why it's so exciting. There is peer-reviewed published research on the wristband. 18 participants who mostly had profound hearing loss underwent a variety of tests over a period of one month. The relevant part for clarify mode was the vibration pattern discrimination between two similar sounding words like bees and cheese. All but one scored above chance, so pretty promising, even though it was a small n. The study also showed that as age increased, scores decreased. In other words, older patients may not find as much benefit compared to younger patients. So this is something to keep in mind when discussing recommendations with your patients. The wristband has a microphone on the top that picks up sound and then processes the audio depending on what mode you choose via the app. Buzz, now called Sound Awareness, debuted in 2021 and was developed for people with severe to profound hearing loss to help improve situational awareness and music enjoyment. Duo came next, which is now just called the Tinnitus Program, and reduces the tinnitus annoyance based on the tinnitus functional index. It doesn't actually employ the microphone. We're going to look at Clarify today, which was released in May 2022. It vibrates in response to high-frequency speech sounds. Who is this for? In terms of degree of hearing loss, it's advertised as being appropriate for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. Although I don't see why it couldn't be recommended for someone with a greater degree of hearing loss or someone like myself who probably has hidden hearing loss but a clinically normal audiogram. In terms of the type of sound, this, unlike other products, it's not a situational device. It is designed to be worn all day. One of the cool things about the Clarify is that it is appropriate for all tech literacy levels. It is so simple, you just strap it on, connect it to Bluetooth, and you're good to go. Is this designed to replace hearing aids? The information on their website 
implies that this might replace a hearing aid. But again, in my testing so far, I don't think there's enough research data or even clinical anecdotes for us to confidently suggest to somebody that they should get this over a pair of traditional hearing aids. Unless, however, you have a patient that is just adamantly against traditional amplification. And if you do have a patient like this, this could be a fantastic device to suggest to them. You could recommend that your patients try Clarify in combination with traditional or non-traditional ear level amplification. How does it work? It's very straightforward and truly simple. You charge the wristband, download the app to your phone, pair it with Bluetooth, choose the Clarify mode instead of Buzz or Duo, and then you're good to go. You don't need to program anything. The wristband will just immediately start vibrating in response to high frequency phonemes of speech. And what should happen is that over time, like a period of weeks or maybe a couple months, the brain will start to integrate the vibration patterns and we will start to perceive it at a subconscious level or more automatically. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. Here it is, the wristband and a charging cable. That's it, voila. What is this wristband all about? There is some seriously solid research that underlies the hardware of this device, people. It's very impressive. There is a microphone on the top and the microphone's actually pretty similar to a hearing aid microphone. It responds to 300 to just under 8,000 hertz. There's a 29 dB SPL noise floor and it can handle sound up to 120 dB SPL. If you want more specs, you can download their spec sheet. Um, but the cool part is these four linear resonant actuators, AKA vibrators. The team at Neosensory Neo figured out how to space them so that we can maximize the number of virtual vibration touch points. We can theoretically perceive 256 of them. Audio frequencies are mapped to these touch points and all vibrate at 175 Hertz, which also was chosen based off of previous research that shows that our skin is actually most sensitive to this frequency. Pretty cool stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you.